Believe. Become. Powered by passion. Driven by determination. Believe. Become. Be strong. Be Andrea McKenzie. Andrea doesn't have a studio or indoor workspace. She paints in an open area outside her home. This is where she brought to life the selections for Pieces of Me Part 2, her first international exhibition at Courtney Graham's Art Gallery in Brooklyn, New York. Success didn't come easy for this 30-year-old who discovered her talent when she was just 12. She was on the verge of selling her art supplies while going through a rough time back in 2012. But instead, she quit her job in marketing and started to paint full-time. Today, she is one of the most sought-after local artists by multiple corporate entities. She has also immortalized on canvas local entertainers like Marshall Montano, Bungie Garland, Fan Lyons, and Destra Garcia. Creative people cannot function in either force. This is what I, I, I just realized, you know what I'm saying? So I decided now is the time, which brought on a lot of fear because I mean, you're going into something where you have no idea what is going to go on in your life, but you need to take a chance. And it's never, never too late to pursue your dreams. It doesn't matter how old you are, where you come from. You have to focus in life and you have to believe in yourself, which is number one, your talent what you can do, what you can bring to the table, and that, don't let anybody stop you. Before, a lot of people did not know I was artistic. So coming out, it was like, Andrea could do art. It was like a, a lot of pressure because they're gonna prove to yourself, to the world that I could do this. I mean, I have times I had experiences where I've been disappointed. You know, your art has been rejected. I've even been told, hey, you are not know anybody. So why should we, you know, follow you? Um, so between that period of then and now, I've become extremely strong, whereby whether it's negative or positive, it doesn't affect me in any sort of way. You know what I'm saying? And that, that is believing in yourself. It's not an easy journey, eh? It's hard, but your breakthrough will come, and you have to believe that. Opportunities just started to come after a while, you know. Um, a gallery in New York contacted me on Facebook wrote me a letter, which I've been praying for forever because I've, my dream was to be international and go and inspire people and that sort of thing. So when I got that letter, I was like, wow, because that was the point where I started to, you know, kind of question myself and these things do happen in life. I was wondering, you know, what am I doing? Should I just give up, give her eat a phone and whatnot? And then I got that letter. When you finish, do something that you love and you're actually being paid for it and appreciate, appreciated for it is the best feeling ever. So of course when I finish do a piece, I'm like, especially if I do a piece moving on my own emotion, I'm like, okay, I can let it go down. Fear is a natural emotion, especially, I mean, this is how I see it. If you're scared, it's the best thing out, go for it. Once you are scared of what you're going to do, go for it and always be different. Don't be afraid to be different because I've been criticized a lot for my work, you know, and you just have to go through. You have to believe in yourself. You have to set goals and you have to focus on what it is you love. And my whole thing is that I listen to the positives, but as soon as they're negatives, I block it completely out and I totally focus on my goal. I did do art. Um, in Dicker Martin Secondary where I attended, but I never, I never pursued it fully. But I've always taught myself via YouTube or anything different because in this field you have to educate yourself with new skills, new, you know, but always have your own individual style. That is what makes you different from the rest. I remember when I was now starting off and I went to a particular gallery and they told me that, you know, I'm, I'm not a big artist, so I cannot show by them, which was disappointing to me. I said, you know what, I'm going to show you. <clears throat> and one of these days, you will come to me to do an exhibition. So I think that they should do more workshops, in which in the future I would like to do. I would like to open up avenues for young artists to 
to reach that international scape, it's not easy to live off of that <laughs> at all, you know? It's a process. And I've been, I've been approached by someone that told me she had to choose between her job and her art and, you know, she has responsibilities, so what are you going to do? It's a choice. And you have to be dedicated. It will never be great all of the time. You will never have great times all of the time. I have so many experiences with people that have put me down and in the beginning I might be so upset, but now it doesn't face me because you got through it and at the end of the day, once you reach that point, they will, they will have a choice but to respect you. My advice to anybody, whether it's sports, whether it's being an artist, or whatever you want to do, you set your mind to it and believe you can do it, and you can do anything. Opportunities come. Be Andrea McKenzie. Believe. Become.